Hey everybody, welcome back to Time Value Videos. This video is going to cover everything you've ever wanted to know about index and match. The function index and the function match working together are probably the, in my opinion anyway, are the most powerful uh, two functions that work together um, in Excel. And so what I'm going to show you is all the different things that people usually mess up and don't understand about how these two work together. A lot of people know that they're very similar to the VLOOKUP or the HLOOKUP functions, uh, but maybe their knowledge of how they work as, as far as how to return something, um, return an answer out of a database or a table, um, maybe they're lacking in, in how that actually works. Um, and a lot of times when you use index and match together, you're going to end up with an NA, an error, um, and most people don't know how to troubleshoot that error and know what the reasoning is behind getting that NA, and they struggle. Um, so I'm going to show you everything about index and match working together that you're ever going to want to know. And so as an example, just to see exactly what happens, um, what we're doing is if I put in any date right here, I'll automatically get out the open, high, low, close, volume, and adjusted close for that day. And so right here I have 1228, so you can see. If you look right here, it matches. They're the exact same. Um, well, they're rounded, but they're exactly the same other than rounding. Um, but if I change this to, let's say, 1210, oops, 121215, then all of these just updated, and you can see that they match right here where 1210 is. 5434 for our close, 5434 for our close is the same thing. So this is really powerful as far as being able to look up data out of a table. Um, and so I can change this to anything I want. I could do January 2nd of 2015 updates, and it doesn't matter as long as the date exists on here, it'll pull it out of here. But that's an interesting point. As long as the date exists on my table, then it'll pull the data out. But what if my date doesn't exist on the table? What if I picked December 25th, Christmas? The market isn't open on Christmas. What happens if I try to search that date? Because if we look right here, there is no Christmas day. Hit enter, I get an NA. And most people, when they get to this point, they struggle and they say, okay, I give up. And they don't know what to do from here. Um, why is there an NA? I don't know. Um, well, I know, but I mean, as somebody that's trying to do this, maybe they don't know. So I'm going to show you how index and match work right now. So index, so I'm just, I'll just write out the formula again from scratch so you can see it. So we're going to use the formula index, which takes um, some data out of this table and returns it based on where in the table you want it to find information. So the first thing that index looks for is what am I going to give you? What is the answer eventually going to be? And for me, I'm looking for an open right now. Uh, I want the opening price, so my answer is going to be somewhere in column D. It's going to be the opening price based on the date that I'm looking for. So I know I'm going to get one of these opening. I just don't know which one. So I'm going to click on D, the entire column, which says give me one of the openings. I'll just figure out which one it is later. And then I'm going to say comma, and the next input, um, normally index by itself says, okay, which row in this column do you want? And I can say like 17, and it'll just give me whatever's in column 17, 12, 9. Um, but in this case, I don't want to say 17, I want to say a date. And so I need to match, I need to say match the date that I'm looking for in the column of dates. And so it says, well, what's my lookup value? It's the date that I'm looking for. I'm looking for 12, 25, 15. And then I'm going to hit comma, and it's going to say, well, where are you looking? Well, I'm looking in column C. Column C is all of my dates. I have a date, and I'm looking in the column of dates. And then I'm going to comma again. And now here's where the issue comes up. The reason I got NA when I put in Christmas date is because I had zero on my uh, match type. And so there's different ways of looking at this data. Zero says find the exact match. And if the exact match isn't there, then give up and give me an NA. And because I said find me Christmas day and Christmas day doesn't exist, then Excel gave up and it just gave me NA. So I'm, I'm gonna put zero right now just so you can see what it looks like. And then I'll show you the other two in just a second. So I'm gonna put zero and then I'm gonna close my parentheses and hit enter. And so I still get NA. Now, if I wanted to do um, a different, so if I wanted to put in, um, say, like 12, 24, 15, now I get them. So that's, that's the function that I just used, and that's with the exact match, zero at the end. Now, I want to be able to do it where I can put in 12, 25 and get the previous close. I want to be able to get uh, 12, 24 out of it. And so I, the, reason, um, the reason it's not working right now is because I'm looking for an exact match. But what if I did a different number? What if I did 1 or negative 1? So I'm going to say 1 says less than, which means th look up the largest number that is smaller than the one that I'm looking up, which is really exactly what I want because I'm trying to find what's the biggest date, which would be 1224, which is 
smaller than 1225. So 1226 would be bigger than 1225, so we'd scratch that. 1224 is the biggest number that is smaller than the one I'm looking up, which is exactly what I want. So my number should be plus one. Um, and as an example, I'll show you if I did negative one, that's the opposite. That says, what's the biggest, or what's the smallest number that's bigger than 1225? So 1226 would be there, but 1226 doesn't exist. Neither does 1227. 1228 exists. So it would return 1228, which I don't want because I'm looking up historic values. I want to know what happened before the markets close. So I want positive one. Oops, not 11, positive one. And I'm going to hit enter. But if you look at this, so what it should be doing is giving me 1224, right? Open. And if I look at 1224 is open, that's not the same. What, what's going on here? Well, I'm going to just, out of curiosity, I'll drop all the way down to the bottom of my list. And I see 511 is the smallest, is the last value on my list. I scroll all the way back up to the top. 511 is what, so it's returning me January 2nd, which is the opening, the very first value on there. What's going on? So what happens is the data all this data needs to be in either ascending or descending order, whether or not you have positive or negative one up at the top. So I'm going to switch the order. So if I switch this order right here, now I have 5497 for 1225, which is actually 1224, we remember. Go down here and we look at 1224, 5497. Well, look at that. So that's the right one. So if it's in the right order, then it works. And now I'm going to change... Um, I'm going to do column D, which is my open. That's going to be able to move, but I'm going to lock in the other ones using the F4 key. I'm going to lock in the L6 and the C through C. Hit enter. And now I can drag these over across. And now I can. Now it works for any date I want. So I know that 1-1 uh, one, one does not exist. Um, well, let's see. I'll look through here real quick and I'll say 1-3 does not exist. So January 3rd was uh, probably a Saturday. Um, so I'll just put 1-3. Oops. Turned off my numlock. One, three, fifteen, and now it's returning one, two, fifteen because that's the next date. Now, if I look at one seventeen, also doesn't exist. That was probably a weekend or a holiday too. Um, so one seventeen, and that should return one sixteen actually. So fifty, fifty three, fifty, fifty three. Yep, and then uh, fifty one seventy, fifty one seventy. Yep. So those that works like that. So the biggest thing that people mess up is having to order the dates or it doesn't necessarily have to be dates this works for any table make sure your table is in either ascending or descending order if you're looking for positive one which means find the smallest uh, number that is I'm um, sorry find the biggest number that is smaller than what I'm looking for it means find the one right before it is positive one and they have to be in order of smallest at the top to biggest at the bottom and that will tell you that number and so this is really helpful if you're doing, uh, trying to find these open, high, low, close um, from any date, or you can use it to find any kind of reference within a table that you want. You could even do it in reverse, where I can look up what is the open, high, low, close, um, or what is the date. I can have it return the date given um, the opening value. So I could go in here. I'll do I'll do it in the reverse. So index. So I want you to return the date to me, comma match whatever the open value is in the open column exactly. I'm gonna hit yeah, because I didn't put in my close parentheses. And I'm gonna change that to a date so we can read it better. And so I'm looking up 117, which doesn't exist, and it's returning to me 116. So that's telling that's how I know. That's can that's my error checking right there. So that's how index and match work. Um, that is probably more than you ever ever wanted to know about the combination of the two. Um, but I, in my opinion, they're way better than using VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP. I'll do videos um, probably pretty soon on how VLOOKUP and, and HLOOKUP work, um, so you can compare them. But in my opinion, index and match uh, next to pivot tables um, are probably the most important things anyone needs to know about how to use Excel outside of having to use how to use a, a macro or VBA. But index and match and pivot tables are definitely in the very top of the list of what you need to know. So that's how do you use index and match? Uh, thanks for watching. And as a reminder, I do financial consulting for a living. So if you need help with any of your Excel projects, you can go to my website, arpagasdvisors.com slash contact us and book me to help you with your project. That's it. Thanks for watching.